And now it's Adams. Pat Huben pointing out ahead of him. Where he wants the ball, still wants the ball, Huben. Continually working ever so hard in the Derry City forward line. And that's it. Well, Greg Slogger has lost it then. And here is Akintunde. And Graydon is arriving in the middle. Still Akintunde. Can he get the shot away? Lovely turn by Akintunde. And he does get the shot away. And he's found the bottom corner. James Akintunde, his fifth league goal of the season. And Derry City, 12 minutes in, have hit the front at Oriel Park. Wonderful play by Akintunde. Great feet, composure. Andy Boyle, I think we, we thought he was going to block up a wonderful skill by Akintunde. Put Andy Boyle on the ground and... I think a little bit of luck with the deflection, but the skill probably merited it. And it's all come from Greg Slogger losing possession of the ball. He, he's been so good and composing that in recent weeks. And such a great League of Ireland heritage was always likely to be a Republic of Ireland manager that would do just that. Diallo. Diallo, that's a really good ball, and he's onside here. There's a chance here for Derry. Oh, and he's pushed it too far ahead of himself. Is it Joe Thompson who is charging through? And that should have been 2 0. Nathan Shepherd, as he so often does, quick to come out and smother it, but the touch from Thompson was too heavy. He should have made it too. Greg Sloggett is there to win it back for the Lily White Stoke. Mark Connolly stepping in, runs straight into Greg Sloggett. Sloggett again. Up against Patrick McElhenney. McElhenney up against so Brian O'Kane, and it's O'Kane who emerges with it. Now Joe Adams, and now Pat Huben, and he's caught. O'Kane is in behind here. Ryan O'Kane, can he make a name for himself? Oh, what oh, a not save. Quite. Great save by Brian Mayer. Mayer. Well, that was Dundalk's best chance of the half, arguably. Fantastic play. And again, young O'Kane came in here and he's battling here. Connolly, Sloggett, O'Kane, and Kane come out on top. And a lovely little dink ball around the corner by Huben. A little bit better by Dundalk. By Dundalk and again, Connolly just in the right position. Just took up that front post position. It's going to be a decent cross to beat him there. Here's Stephen Bradley. Bradley. Sam Bone and slipped away from Akintunde. Bone, oh, there might be a chance of a shot for Bone. Oh, and he's put it just the wrong side of the post. Well, Sam Bone driving forward from his centre back position and he gave Akintunde the slip, but he just couldn't find the back of Brian Mars net. Brendan Glass with a less impressive pass. Inside the 60th minute of the game. Joe Adams, punching challenge, comes in from Mark Connolly. Here's Patrick McElhenney, and he's released Graydon here, right of the penalty area. Graydon's cross in, and there's a player in red at the back, and it was Declan Glass, and that was a hugely important block by McCarry. I'd like to see that again, because it, it looked as if Connolly came straight through the back of Joe Adams. But down the other end, a wonderful defending. On his back, Bradley has held on to it. Three minutes of time added on remaining. Ryan O'Kane has to stretch to keep that in play, which he does. Here's Lee. Now Alfie Lewis. And Dock's cause is desperate. Sam Bone. Now Bradley again. Keith Ward is on the right hand side. Bradley. Bradley. Left footed in towards Pat Huben with the header. What a goal by Pat Huben! What a wonderful goal by Pat Huben! Magnificent! It's a big game! It's a big goal by a big game player! Oh, I just think it in my head, the place will erupt if we score. And Bradley again, he's put in, and that's why Stephen O'Donnell would say, feed him the ball, give him the ball. He's put in a wonderful ball, and Pat Hooven, he's got up early, he's generated all the pace in that himself. Absolutely fabulous, he's just got across the front of Connolly. He's up early, his whole neck, back, everything's gone in behind that, and he's buried it in behind the keeper. What a goal from the dog point of view. Absolutely superb, the skipper. I said it numerous last 10 minutes, that's where you want him, not out on the sideline. Nathan Shepherd doesn't reach it, and it's gone. Behind has it for a goal that's kick it. it has. Well, there is the last action of the game. And don't talk at the death. Have taken a point from this one. Pat Huben, we've seen it time and time again over the years. He's saved on talk this evening with a superb header, he and Mark Connolly exchanged pleasantries after the game.